and this threat of, uh, of ice and sleet and snow and very cold temperatures. Thankfully, if there is a silver lining to this, not a lot of ice, right. but a whole lot of snowfall and a whole lot of cold temperatures. Yeah, kind of turned it into somewhat of a snowstorm. I yeah. mean, sometimes some folks are going to get over half a foot of snow out of this. And Darren, just hour by hour, it seems like the snowfall totals continue to go up. Let's start with ice, though, because like Darren mentioned, we're, we're going to get ice first. And then eventually, as things get colder, we'll get some snow. But that ban for the significant ice continues to press south into central Arkansas. But it does include some of us in the southern portions of the River Valley. We're talking southern LaFleur County, Scott County, maybe even southern portions of Logan County, too, where the ice may be a little bit higher. Anywhere about south of Mount Magazine or south of Sugarloaf, we've got the chance for a little bit more ice. But off towards Conway, Little Rock, if you've got family or friends, you've got to travel towards central Arkansas. Be advised, things are going to get slick. But look, once you head towards the northwestern part of the state, I mean, the ice totals are really going down. Yes, we're going to have some ice. But it's not going to be, you know, a huge chunk. It's probably going to be a thin glaze, which is still enough to cause a lot of problems, right? But the worst power outages generally follow where the greatest ice buildup is going to be. I think the better power outage chance will probably be towards the south. We've got a decent chance for a few power outages uh, across the River Valley, including Fort Smith Van Buren, where we could try to get a quarter inch of ice. But once you get in the mountains and northbound, the ice threats starting to go a little bit lower because the snow threats are going up. We'll take a look at the snowball map in just a second. But the ice pin packs, they're not going to be anywhere near what we had in 2000 or 2009. In northwest Arkansas, with a tenth of an inch of ice to maybe a quarter inch or so, we're probably going to have some scattered power outages, temporary. And then roads will become slick. Bridges, though, would be dangerous. Remember, just on I-49, over 30 bridges. Those are likely to become very slick. In the River Valley, closer to a quarter inch, maybe up to half inch or so. Generally, that means we get scattered power outages for about one to two days. Here's your snowfall map. This is the one that continues to get more impressive as we get closer to the storm. We're under 24 hours now before the ice and eventually some snow starts to pick up. The snowfall totals are less in the River Valley, but remember that's where we're getting more ice, so everything's kind of flip-flopped. Towards the north, less ice, but more snow. Once you head north of the mountains, we're probably talking about two to four inches right in the heart of the mountains over the Bobby Hopper Tunnel, and then into the metros in northwest Arkansas, probably at least four inches. You head into Benton County, that chance for six or more inches of snow will be possible. Here's the timeline. In northwest Arkansas, we'll start off with rain showers. We still have the rain showers now. We'll continue to have those tomorrow morning. We may start to switch over to some a little bit of freezing rain in the late morning, but really we probably won't notice those slick impacts closer towards noon. It will take a while for the roads to kind of freeze, but then we're talking about freezing rain pretty much the rest of the day and mixing with some sleet. By Thursday, I think we're cold enough, pure snow. And that's why those snowfall totals really ramp up. In the River Valley, we're kind of delayed on things just because that cold air has a hard time going right through the mountains. But in the River Valley, expect showers most of the day. But then the slick spots really pick up after sunset. You know, it's the time about 6 o'clock when we start to get some of that frozen precipitation, more accumulating snow as we head uh, towards Thursday, too. But we just got to wait for that cold air to move in. Tomorrow morning, we'll start with some sleet and ice in northwest Arkansas, still rain in the River Valley. Eventually, we all try to turn over to some sleet and ice by evening. And then over time into Thursday morning, we'll watch snow go from the north towards the south. And then I think by Thursday afternoon, we're pretty much just all snow as snow showers continue to to just fly across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. That's why I have weather alerts for Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures getting cold. We're going to have a really cold night Thursday night into Friday and then Friday night into Saturday. The great news, though, is that even though the River Valley, we're going to go below freezing for a Thursday. Look at next week. There's, there's not a thing happening. This is not right. <laughs> it's like right? in the 60s a week <laughs> from now. It's so confusing. And it's still pushing 60 right now. Right now. It is right now. Yeah. Just barely out of the 60s. That's what makes no sense with this. How it's yeah. going to be that bad after it's been so warm. But That's right. It's going to happen. Yeah. All right, Matt, thanks. It was a busy night on the high school basketball scene. Highlights from across the area.